Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us. So today we have Phil joining us, the number one realtor nationwide in Keller Williams, top 10 worldwide in Keller Williams, father of four sons, and life partner with an amazing woman. Thank you so much for joining us, Phil. Thanks for having me, Melissa. That's great. That's great. Welcome, everybody, and thanks for joining us. And today we've got... Uh, the legend himself, uh, none other than Jeff Matheson. Uh, Jeff, for those of you who may or may not know, recently partnered with us in, um, I want to say the middle of 2021, and uh, has had some incredible success, my goodness, over, I think, is it what, Jeff, 44 transactions uh, closed in the last six months, is it? And over $450,000 in commissions in your first six months in the business. Is that is that right, Jeff? Yeah, it's, that's right. I'm seven and a half months in. Um, and that's exactly those are the numbers. Yeah. My goodness. And you know, that that's absolutely incredible. So Jeff, you know, yeah. a little bit of background. I know your your trading area is uh, Ottawa, Ontario. Yeah. And you've got an amazing wife and son and you live in the community of uh, Center Point, which you've literally taken control of yeah. which is again incredible you know um you've been involved in in uh, the sales industry and, and forex i think for many years prior to real estate but you know to have this success within such a short period of time is is just it's it's unbelievable so why don't you share with us you know a little bit of background and your journey and what got you into real estate and i know you've lived all over the world as well like just an incredible backstory and uh We'd love to hear from you, uh, you know, how it is that you, you're you achieving this success. For sure. Thanks, Phil. And thanks, Melissa, for having me on today. Uh, for myself, I've been in sales for over 20 years. Uh, before I was in real estate, I was in corporate foreign exchange. I was running large sales teams globally. I lived in London, England. I've lived in Boston. I've lived in Toronto. I've always enjoyed sales. I've had great success in, in sales. I had a passion for real estate. I was an investor in real estate for the last 15 years, successful, a successful investor here in Ottawa. Always wanted to get into real estate. Um, I moved back to Ottawa after living in Toronto for about four years. And I started talking with Phil. I, I knew Phil's successes. I knew Phil that had very accomplished in real estate. So I started talking to Phil about you know, what it takes to be in real estate. And right away, I knew that it was going to work. Uh, Phil at the time was already at EXP. Um, I did talk to a lot of other brokerages, um, but I did everything Phil told me about EXP just made a lot of sense. I have a business background. It just, uh, you know, I had a re eureka moment when I learned about the revenue share, all the other opportunities at EXP um, and came on board right away, basically. Uh, I think the key, though, to the success early was even before I finished my license and that I was I was live and ready to start selling and, buy, and buying homes for my clients. Phil and I had a lot of conversations. So Phil is my mentor. He's my coach. Everything Phil has told me um, what to do in the, in the industry is, is how I've learned. My, my sales background has definitely helped, but I threw all that out the window and I came in with a blank slate and said, Phil, just teach me the way. So before I even finished my license, Bill, Phil and I were talking frequently. Phil was telling me stuff to read, uh, giving me great tips. One of the books he told me to read here is this book here, which is The uh, Millionaire Real Estate Agent. Uh, I probably read this six times before I finished my license, and I'd ask Phil questions daily about that book. Uh, and that really is the blueprint to a lot of my success. It's my structure. It's my foundation. So when I hit the ground running when I started in real estate uh, was because of those conversations I had with Phil. And then when I went live, I probably called Phil 15 times a day um, just to pick his brain on, on what it is that I should be doing. Um, and for me, out of the gates early was, you know, online lead uh, online lead generation was key. So I invested a little bit of money in that. Um, I used KV Core as well, squeeze pages. I used the tools that EXP provided me as well as doing some stuff on my own. And that was my early success. So the online lead generation was very, very um, important for me to generate uh, commission and, and getting deals done right away. And working those harder than I think people imagine. I've talked to a lot of people that get online lead generation leads. And Phil would tell me, you know, you got to call these people in the first five minutes, but also make sure you call them like 10, 15 times throughout the day to get them live. And I think even early, I would only call them once or twice. And if I didn't get them, I'd kind of move on. When I went back and listened to what Phil was saying, call them as many times as you can to get them live. I started, you know, I started doing very well on those leads. And in my first week, I actually closed a transaction because of that, just hammering down on those leads, calling them way more than people actually think. 
Um, and, and Phil would always say the gold is in the follow-up. And I just followed up with those, with those leads extensively. And that was probably, you know, what got me started right away was those online digital leads where I had early success. That momentum. And Jeff, um, why don't you share about the training that you've been attending uh, in, you know, our platform and EXP world, that 80 hours of live training weekly and how much, you know, you're immersed in that on a, on a weekly basis and what that looks like and how that's been beneficial for you. Yeah. So like having Phil as a mentor coach, bouncing things off him has been amazing. That's probably, you know, uh, most of my successes come from those conversations, but getting a different perspective is important too. Like getting someone who's an icon agent, someone that uh, is a leader in, in the industry and training from them. So every Sunday evening, I look at the schedule for the week that's coming and I try, I minimum is three. So I'll do three training sessions. I'm very, very busy, but I'll just put those in my schedule on the Sunday evening. So I do a minimum of training um, with EXP University and it's phenomenal. Like I'll look for stuff, things that I really want to learn about are again, just driving revenue, driving commission and driving deals close. So I look for stuff on listing, stuff on FISBOs, uh, lead generation scripts, like anything with, uh, with regards to that, that's what I enjoy looking at. So I take a minimum of three, sometimes it's up to five weekly. And I have not, I haven't deferred on that. Like I find the time because that training is incredible. Uh, you're getting training from top agents globally. I can tap into someone in Austin, Texas and in, uh, you know, in, in California and my market, Ottawa is a pretty small market. Being able to hear what they're doing in those markets is, is uh, incredible. Phenomenal. And Jeff, so what, um, what does the typical day look like for you in yeah. terms of, you know, what time are you waking up? What time do you start business? Your focus lead generation time, you know, your family time as well. Um, yeah. You know, you've got a young son and a son and your wife and, you know, how are you? Um, and by the way, ladies and gentlemen, no one has balance. So when people tell you, oh, I love a balanced life, it's great. There's no such thing. It's all about counterbalance. Okay. Your fitness may be amazing, but you're not making money. Your relationship is doing amazing, uh, but your fitness is out of whack. So you're constantly having to adjust and pivot, okay? A plane doesn't fly to its destination in a straight line. It's constantly having to adjust. So how are you dealing with that, you know, yeah. chaos that you've created in such a short period of time and, and that business volume and, you know, you know, with your personal life, your fitness, all that? Yeah. I think that was the biggest challenge at the beginning was, um, you know, I was always busy before, but not like this. I mean, this can be all consuming and, and clients can call you starting at seven in the morning until basically midnight if, if you if you don't have some boundaries as well. So I think Phil, you and I work hard on that is building my schedule out. And I didn't do that early on and I paid for that. Um, so now, you know, right at 830 in the morning, I have my schedule. So from 830 to 12, that's my time for, for lead generation. So I block that off. I basically take my son to school to his bus. I come back with my coffee and I start my day. So from eight 30 to 12, I make the majority of my calls and I block everything off. I turn my phone off. I turn all my distractions. I go in my office. I shut the door. My wife knows not to bug me. Um, even if clients are calling, I typically don't answer it. I'll try to defer it to my admin. And that's, that's my time to make calls. I want to make at least 50 dials within that time frame If I can do more, I'm really looking for engagement. I want to have long conversations. So if I only get 30 calls, that's fine because I've had a lot of conversations. I try to have 10 live connections in that. In that like objections I until to... you know it's actually an objection. Treat it like a complaint. And just... <laughs> there we go. Sorry, a little yeah, bit of feedback. I, that's okay. So yeah, I try to get 10, 10 live conversations and book some uh, a minimum of about three to five appointments during that time. And then after 12, I schedule my appointments. So I go out and see people, either my listing presentations, uh, bring buyers to do showings, meet buyers to get buyer agreements signed. Uh, and then I come back after that and I have my dinner. I block off time for my family. We have a dinner every night. We sit at the, at the kitchen table and uh, talk and, and enjoy that. And then I'm, I'm usually back on the phone or I'm back out at appointments uh, after 6.30. I find in my market from 6.30 to 8.30 in the evenings, you can get a lot of people live on the phone but my calendar now is fully booked off. So if I want to go skiing with my son on Thursday, I'll book that off. So it's in there, it's blocked off and if any kind of family time or vacation time, I'm putting that in my calendar. So, so making appointments with yeah. your family, time blocking your fitness, time with your son skiing, you know, dinners with your wife, date nights, that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. And taking a day off as well, I think is something that's uh, again, very important, at least one day anyway. Yeah, exactly. But as, as you've told me, you've got, if you don't put it in the calendar, if you don't block it off, even for work or personal, things aren't going to happen. 
Yeah, no, it's incredible. And let's talk about your uh, your online lead generation. So how many leads are you generating on average right now um, on a monthly basis, just through, you know, social media and your Google ads and your social media advertising and such? Uh, I'm probably generating about 125 leads a month right now. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I've got over 3000 uh, leads in my database. Okay. Um, I really push hard on the, on the buyer lead. The buyer leads turn into selling leads. Mm -hmm. I haven't found that a lot of, you know, the secret sauce for listing leads for online digital leads. I don't know if anyone really does that extremely well, but I've had a lot of success with my buyer lead generating online uh, lead generation for buyers that convert into sellers. So yeah. they have to sell their home and, and just really having that conversation with them to find out if they actually live in a place they need to sell. So the buyer leads have been very good for me for listings as well. Oh, Fantastic. And, and when, oh, go ahead, Melissa. So how much money do you spend on your online leads and which platform as well? Um, so you have 3000 leads and how much did it cost you? Yeah, I think um, for like right now, I'm utilizing stuff I'm doing myself through like KV Core, like squeeze pages, which you can optimize that. So I did, I did some KV Core squeeze pages that I didn't optimize. You get a few leads, but if you optimize it and spend a little bit of money, like you spend five hundred dollars on a month, you're gonna get some good buyer leads. Um, you know, I've I've ramped up my spend on on digital leads. I have a very good friend of mine that's giving me um, quality leads as well. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I'm probably spending, you know, a couple of thousand dollars a month now on online digital leads, but the ROI, like, you know, Phil very early said, you know, it takes money to make money in real estate. So if you can, if you can spend $2,000, but your, your, you know, return on investment is 500% or more, it's a no brainer. Yeah, incredible. And, and Jeff, let's talk about leverage, you know, and how important that piece is because you've had such a dynamic, quick start yeah. and you're on track probably for a hundred transactions in your first year in real estate. Um, your first key hire, that administrative component, which is, you know, so crucial to growing the business. Cause really in real estate, we can only um, grow through wit three ways, right? It's leveraged through people, leveraged through technology and leveraged through marketing and share how that first hire has, you know, what that looked like, uh, how you headhunted that person, and uh, you know what that what that um, has has allowed you to how that has, has allowed you to grow effectively. Yeah, you know when I read this book here uh, that I mentioned earlier, the, the the talk about the first hire is always some, an admin person. It's not someone to help you with sales. It's to help you with support for the admin side. And uh, I dragged my feet on that. I had a hard time because it was cost, right? It's an additional cost. And I thought, okay, I can do a lot of this right now myself and do both sales and admin. And Phil was co constantly telling me, when are you hiring that admin? When are you hiring the admin? It's time now. And I kept pushing it off, to be honest. And that cost me dearly. Uh, I, Phil and I think it probably cost about $150,000 in GCI for not hiring when Phil originally told me to hire. Um, and then once I finally found that person, I, I realized, okay, it's going to cost me X, but that's a drop in the bucket of what I can actually do on my performance of sales and focus on sales versus all the admin. I was working until sometimes two in the morning for my admin side. And in the morning I'd wake up and I was, I was tired. So once I plugged in an admin and found someone that had experience, I literally, um, I cold called every brokerage in Ottawa. And, and uh, when the admin picked up the phone, I pitched them on what I was building and, and uh, I <laughs> sold them on the dream of myself and EXP. And uh, I, got, I got a fantastic person who had been in the industry for many, many years, worked for some of the top brokerages here in Ottawa. Um, and once she started, it changed the game for me. Like literally day one, she hit the ground running and took everything off my plate. Plus I'm new to the industry other than Phil. I, I don't have you know a lot of uh, dialogue with people that have that type of experience other than some people at EXP as well. So she was teaching me stuff as well. And she was creating the processes, creating the structure for me. And it's just been, a, since she's come on board, my business has taken off like a rocket ship. And for, and time freedom as well, right, yeah, Jeff? Exactly. You're not up until 2 a.m. doing transactions and coordination and sky yeah. slope and all that great stuff. Yeah. And she's client facing too. She's fantastic with clients. I know once I, once I'm done with my, you know, my transaction and I can, I'm moving on to the next thing. I know that she's going to handle the customer service and I don't have to keep checking in to make sure it's done. It's all done. So that, that peace of mind and the, the time it frees up has been so valuable. I'm sleeping much better these days. Yeah, no doubt. And, and then, so what about your, like, I know that you're, you're very well networked in the city as well. 
Um, and we often laugh about that, that a lot of your friends don't even know you're in real estate because most of your business has been really literally from strangers yeah, from yeah. your online lead gen efforts. And you haven't really reached out to your sphere of influence yet. So let's talk about that and, you know, moving forward, how that's an, uh, just a huge opportunity as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. In the business world in Ottawa, I, I was a 40 under 40. I have a lot of good contacts. I have born and raised in the city. I'm back living in my hometown. And you know, when I first started with all the stuff going on, I was so busy that I didn't have time to start talking to my sphere of influence. I also had this idea that I'm just going to do so well, not having to bother them. And then they'll come to me because they'll see my success through social media. So literally for the first six, seven months, I have never, I haven't reached out to one contact um, that I know in the city or business partners, anything like that. And it, it's starting now. So I'm actually starting to get uh, people contact. They're seeing my stuff on social media and they're referring to me as well. Um, so it's, that's finally kicking in. I know my next six months, I'm going to focus a lot on my sphere of influence, but I didn't touch any of them at the beginning. Uh, it was all through digital leads. And, and I think Phil as well, like the number one thing that I did as well was farming my community and farming communities around me. You know, Phil made sure that I was doing stuff that was, uh, not just on the, the digital lead side. So I knocked on doors. I have a lot of, you know, door hangers, media uh, stuff that I drop off at the house and actually get in my community and talk to people. And that's been my number number one way for listings in my community. I became the number one realtor in my community within three months by just getting out and door knocking and meeting people. Yeah, it's it's incredible actually that it was a market that was you know um, a very stable, lovely market that was dominated for years by certain individuals. And you know, Jeff came in within half a year. Um, I literally, actually, within three months, was the number one selling realtor in that community, and has been so since. Right, so. Um, you know, being purposeful and having a strategy and and working, you know, work is really, you know, paramount, um, not being worried about call, you know, um, you know, call reluctance and objection and dealing with that, right, Jeff, I mean, you've knocked on hundreds and hundreds of doors, you've made thousands of phone calls, like, how often, you know, have people been mean to you during these calls and door knocking? Have you had anyone really mean? Or what, what's that look like? It's, it's shocking. Like the industry I was in before, a lot of hangups, a lot of swear words, <laughs> a lot of uh, bad things said uh, on phone calls. Uh, I don't get that. You know, it, you come in with value and you have an opening line, an opening, opening thing to say on the phone with the script. Uh, you might get people that aren't fully interested, but I, I haven't had hangups. I haven't had people that tell me to F off. Uh, knocking on doors as well. You know, it's the way you approach people when you knock on a door. I, you know, I, I I've, I've knocked on thousands of doors. Like I literally like, that's something I, I do religiously daily. Um, and I've had one person shut the door in my face. That's it. You know, so to me, that's, that's and the good. amount of business that you've, uh, you've obtained yeah. from the door knocking efforts, right? I, I'd say that door knocking is, is in like farming a community, you know, pick a territory that you want to do your backyard is probably the best place to start. But that's been the most lucrative. Uh, I enjoy talking with people. So knocking on a door, telling people that I live in that community, that opening script that you talked about, that you're, you know, you're a local real estate expert, you live in the community, right away there's an instant connection. Uh, that's been the most valuable source for getting listings. And then um, everyone knows me in my community now. People contact me for advice. I'm walking my dog on the street. People talk to me. Um, I drop postcards. So, you know, old school business does work. I actually drop postcards uh, twice a month into my community and I get so many calls from those postcards. So between my door, my door hangers, my door knocking and actually physically talking to people and my postcards, uh, I get a lot of, a lot of good uh, leads, a lot of good business. And the ROI is, is off the charts for that investment. Phenomenal. Jeff, what, you know, what would you, you know, with your six or seven months of awesome experience what would you share with people that are getting into the business now in terms of you know what you've got to do to have that that success and you know kind of building the fire in the basement and, and what that looks like yeah for me like when I first started and I mean I was coming with EXP no matter what because I, my history with Phil, Phil and I go back over 35 years but having like the first thing is having that mentorship you know having someone that can uh, before you even hit the ground running, talk you through that. And then day, from day one, having someone to go to saying, am I on the right path? What should I be doing? And trusting that that's, that's like the most important thing. The great thing with the EXP is it's a big machine, you know, and plugging into that machine is the most important thing you can do. Um, like from the beginning, we had boot camps, we had uh, training for new realtors. 
now the you know exp university like i'm bringing people on exp and that's all i tell people is plug in get get engaged with exp the conference like the conference in las vegas was a mind was mind-blowing for me uh phil and i i went I, I saw phil rarely like i was running around doing so many different sessions and the learning that i got from those sessions were huge so plugging into exp like Local brokerages that I interviewed and I talked to here didn't offer anything like that. And that's the reason why I came to EXP as, as well as my mentorship. Um, and when I bring people on board now, new to EXP, everything Phil's taught me, I'm teaching them that. But the most important thing is plugging into EXP. Like I've got a local sales call for, for my province, Ontario, every Thursday. Um, I do my EXP university classes. Anything I can get my hands on that I feel is going to benefit me with EXP, I'm plugging into that. Now let's talk about that because you're you are building a team as well uh, yeah. concurrently while you're you know building a, a massively successful real estate uh, sales business. So how does that look? And you know you've already brought on how, yeah to share us how many agents yeah. you have referred to the company and how yeah, many I've, partners I've, you have working with you. I brought I didn't focus on it at the beginning. I figured I want to learn how to sell real estate first <laughs> before I started bringing people on. But I've I've really focused that in the last few months. Um, I have three, uh, uh, three people that I brought on board. Um, I, I feed them a lot of leads. So a lot of times I'm very, very busy. So I have a referral uh, partnership with them. Um, I've done a lot of mentorship with them. I've helped them on their first transactions. Really, we have a template to get them started in the business as well through with my admin, even social media, we get them up and running. Um, they don't work for me. They work they're They're with eXp, but I've, I've brought them on to eXp and, I, and I, they help my business as well. Um, I've also just recently, one of the key things is that I made a lot of calls during the day and uh, needed to focus on getting out and getting more listings. So I didn't want that to fall over uh, all my lead gen calls. So I've just hired a, a new inside sales representative. Uh, it's someone that I've known from the past, exceptional on the phone, very good at setting appointments from previous career. And I just plugged him in last week. And again, my admin was phenomenal. That, that took off so much off my plate. And now just in one week, having an inside salesperson making those calls, I can now focus on other key things. Uh, in one week, it's been incredible. He, he had 22 meetings for me in one week and two listing appointments. And we closed one of those transactions from one of his meetings on the weekend for over a million dollars. So in one week, you know, the, the ROI is already there. And how many, how many uh, approved by representation agreements did you get from uh, that week as well, that first week of working with your inside sales agent? We just got another one today from a call last week. So four in total, two yeah. listings and one closed uh, transaction for an investor. Yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. Wow, Jeff, well, you know, really incredible. And, you know, I know that you're very, very, very learning based. Yeah. You create uh, from a position of abundance, not from well, scarcity. And uh, Colleen, can you mute yourself, please? Yeah. Sorry. Hey. Well, maybe they're here. I don't know. Hey, Colleen. Can, there we go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, you know, and, and that, that coachability, right? That understanding that, you know what, like to attend the, you know, as many of those training sessions as you can in the EXP world, because, you know, we've got some of the top realtors across the world. See, with us, you're no longer locally confined, but you're globally defined. And so, like, you know, we talk all the time. I mean, and we're, you know, across, you know, what, 5,000 kilometers away, and we text and talk and Facebook and WhatsApp and whatever, right? So you're now, you've got access to this amazing network. And I know, Jeff, you've been mentoring other agents. I mean, agents are reaching out to you from all over the place to say, like, how are you doing this? It's incredible, you know, and, and, uh, You've been a mentor many times in your life uh, in different industries and business as well. And so yeah. just incredible, you know? Yeah, that's one thing I like about the EXP model too, is I, like, it's very collaborative. Um, I met people at the conference that I still communicate, like top agents that I can call and say, hey, what, what are you doing in your market that's driving success? Phil's introduced to me to so many business partners that um, that are top agents that I contact and, and try not to bug them too much, but we share secrets, you know, we trade secrets, we share those, uh, we share that it's not, you know, we don't, we don't hoard it, we're open to having uh, our success shared with others. And I think EXP is when I was at the conference, I really noticed that that the collaboration is incredible. Well, because we're all owners, right? We own the company. We're not a franchise. Uh, we're not a local real estate company. We're a global force with in 19 countries with over 73,000 agents, right? So it's, uh, you get a different spin on things from all over the place and it's, uh, it's remarkable, amazing. 